five weird texts and habits of narcissists. Narcissists text differently than other people. They have specific texts and habits and that can help you to identify them. So I am going to give you five weird texts and habits of narcissists. One, love bombing. The narcissist will love bomb you through text. When you first start texting them, they will send you a lot of messages. They will reply very quickly. They will send you long paragraphs to make it seem like they're really interested in you. And it may be quite overwhelming. They will express themselves in a determined and confident way. They will tell you you're perfect and that they can be perfect for you until it leaves no doubt in your mind that they're pursuing you and that they want to be with you. They will try to make themselves perfect for you. They will try to be everything that you want and need. They will try to make you feel like you have met the right person for you. Two, self-centeredness. They will tell you about everything they're doing. They will talk about their problems. But they won't ask about you. They won't ask about how you're doing or how has your day been. You just end up helping them with their problems and you may feel like you're doing the right thing. But eventually, you start to realize that something is not right. Because it's just all about them. They're not making an effort to share your experience. They're not trying to put themselves in your shoes. Three, future faking. They will use a detailed vision of the future to facilitate bonding and connection in order to get what they want in the present. But with no intention of following it up with action, they're not emotionally capable of making it a reality, but they will tell you whatever they think you want to hear to lure you in so that they can establish their control over you. But at some point you will realize that it is all a lie and then they will ghost you. Four, ghosting. The narcissist will ghost you. They will stop responding to your texts. They will dismiss you as unimportant. Because they know you're onto them, they know you're starting to figure them out. And they know that you're expecting a return on your investment. So they will disappear. Because they were never serious about building anything with you anyway. They just wanted your attention and admiration. 
they needed supply. But if you question them on it, they will deny it, they will lie to you, they will gaslight you, they will blame you. After they were the ones who lured you into it, they made you believe that you were perfect for each other. They pulled you into their fantasy world and then they detached themselves from it. Five, grandiosity. They will try to impress you. They will show an unrealistic sense of superiority. They will brag and boast about their accomplishments and how they're better than other people. They will say that everyone else is stupid. They will send selfies to you in an attempt to entice you, to get you attached to them. But they have no intention of attaching themselves to you. So when all is said and done, you end up all alone in this prison that they have created for you. You're left alone with your own thoughts. You ruminate about everything they said. You remember all of the things they promised you. And then you look around and realize that you've been duped. You've been taken for a ride because you gave out all of your time, energy, love and passion. But in the end, you got nothing, nothing but a mirage, an illusion, an unrealistic hope and wish that can never be achieved. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.